Good afternoon, everyone. I am Kimberly Joy, and I thank you for tuning into the Kimberly Joy Show. Now, before I go any further, I just want to give God some praise. Hallelujah. God, I exalt you. God, I magnify you. Hallelujah. God, you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. God, you are mighty. You are powerful. You are awesome. You are amazing. Hallelujah. There is no one like you, God. I thank you for your love, for your goodness. Hallelujah. I thank you for your grace, for your mercy. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for this broadcast and for every listener, God. I thank you, God, for each and every one of their lives. Hallelujah. Lord God, they may feel discouraged, God. They may feel like giving up, God. But I thank you, God, that you have, have that you have ordered their steps, God, to tune in right now to this broadcast. Hallelujah. So that they can receive the encouragement that they need. Hallelujah. And I thank you for encouraging everyone who is listening right now. I thank you for ministering to them. I thank you for strengthening them, God. I thank you for healing their hearts, their minds, their bodies, God. Hallelujah. And I thank you, God, for raising them up, God. Hallelujah. To be the men and women you have called them to be in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I love you. I thank you. I praise you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that the very first chapter in the Bible that I ever memorized was Psalms 23. And I believe that the next chapter I memorized after that was Psalms 150. Yes, the very last chapter in the book of Psalms. Again, a psalm is a sacred song, hymn, or poem used in worship. The book of Psalms is filled with words of prayer, of praise, of worship to God. In fact, Psalms 150 sums up what the book of Psalms is all about. Giving praise to the most high God. Now, if you know Psalms 150 by heart, say it along with me. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his, for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 150 is an exhortation to praise the Lord. Now, what do I mean by exhortation? Well, to exhort is to urge or to strongly encourage. And who is being encouraged in Psalms 150 to praise the Lord, huh? You are. What, me? Yes, you. What does verse 1 say again? It says, praise ye the Lord. In other words, you praise the Lord. God wants each of us, his people, to praise him. See, when we praise God, we're expressing our gratitude to him. huh? We're expressing our thanks to God for who he is. Yes. Thank you, God, for being mighty. Huh? Hallelujah. God, I thank you for being powerful. God, I thank you for being great. Huh? Hallelujah. God, I thank you for being excellent. And we're also expressing to God thanks for what he has done. Yes, for what he has done in our lives. God, I thank you for blessing me in ways that no one else can. And Psalms 150 describes different ways in which we can praise the Lord. See, we can praise the Lord with trumpets or horns. We can praise the Lord with timbrels or tambourines. We can praise the Lord with harps, cymbals, with dancing. And those are just a few examples. Yes, Psalms 47 and 1 says, Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. And Psalms 95 and 1 says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. So there isn't just one way to praise God. You can praise God your way. And I can praise God my way. See, typically I praise the Lord by singing, by clapping my hands, by dancing, by shouting. But I have also expressed my thanks to God through writing. Yes, through writing prayers, 
through writing poetry, through writing blog posts, through writing sermons. Oh yes, yes, I have seen preachers stand in the pulpit, grab the microphone, and just exalt the Lord, huh? Just talk about how awesome God is, huh? I've witnessed preachers testify of God's goodness, how God is a provider, how God is a protector, huh? How God is our counselor. How God is, is a mother to the motherless, huh? And a father to the fatherless. How God is our healer. God is our miracle worker. And while those same preachers, huh? Were exalting the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Pa the power of the Holy Spirit would fall on everyone in that place. And moments like those, sermons like those, services like those, remind me of Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 4 say, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. Because all the people in that place came together to exalt God, the Holy Spirit empowered each of them to speak in other tongues, tongues they had never spoken before. That's what happens when we praise the Lord. Yeah, when we praise him with sincere hearts. See, you don't have to praise God like your mother, no, or like your father. You don't have to praise God like the pastor or like the deacon or like the minister of music. God wants you to praise him in your own way from a place of love, love that you have for him. It reminds me of my cousin, Melvin. Melvin, in fact, he was more like my brother. And unfortunately, he recently passed away. Melvin was a preacher, a prophet. He was a singer, a keyboard player, and he was the minister of music at our church, Power and Faith Ministries. But more than that, Melvin was a man who loved God, huh? who loved God's people and who was devoted to God. Every Sunday, Melvin exhorted the people to praise God. Even if some folks didn't feel like praising God when they entered the church, ah, hallelujah. By the time Melvin was done, those same people were dancing. They were clapping their hands. They were singing and even crying, crying tears of joy. Why? Because Melvin understood the importance of praising God. Psalms 150 ends with, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. When we're happy, we should praise the Lord. In fact, it's easy to praise the Lord when we're happy, right? But even when we're sad, we should praise the Lord. As long as we have breath in our bodies, ah, hallelujah, we must praise the Lord. Why? Why is that so important? Because God deserves our praise. I want to thank you for listening to today's broadcast. If you're ready. To accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please pray this prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you were buried. And I believe you rose again from my liberty. Please forgive me for my sins. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. I am now saved. I encourage you to attend a good Bible-believing church. You are welcome to our church. Power and Faith Ministries with Apostle Ron and Pastor Jerry Banks. We are located at 8126 Hamilton Avenue at Hilltop Plaza in the Mount Healthy area. The zip code is 45231. Sunday school at 9 a.m. Sunday service 10 a.m. And Wednesday Bible study 7 p.m. You can catch my show again on Saturdays at 6 p.m. You may donate to the Kimberly Joy Show on Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. For questions, comments, prayer requests, to book me for speaking engagements or for my one-woman show, or if you would like me to promote your business or event, please email the Kimberly Joy Show at gmail.com or call 513-417-0097.
You may follow The Kimberly Joy Show on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and thekimberlyjoyshow.com. And now, here is Vashon Mitchell with Psalms 150.